And there we are, fresh ones, water, corn. Let's put the nozzle down, let's drop it. We got Penetrator here, we're still blocked rain, that's right. Let's got a call from Annette, her sewer is completely blocked, her toilets aren't flushing. It was all gurgling when she was having a shower. So she's in a bit of a pickle. So I said to her, where'd you get my number from? And she said, I got your number from Brad. So a shout out to Brad. We've seen Brad in a few videos, he's a mate of mine, just another plumber. Uh, he's, he's a bit busy um, today and he's doing something else and uh she's seen his sign in the area so she gave him a call he said give gavin a call so we'll go out there and get this all sorted for her and get her drain flowing right up oh, i'll see you when i get there I know if it's charged. I can't see anything leaking yet. Um, we're gonna pop it. So block sewer, whole house is blocked up. IO point to surface, so the main's probably out the back here somewhere. We'll unscrew this, see if it overflows, if it overflows downstream. If it doesn't overflow, hopefully they've got uh, a square junction or something and we can flick a camera up towards the house and see if we can find this blockage. Everything's blocked in the house, toilets, everything. Nothing squirted out yet. Cause it's slowly draining inside the house. Can't smell anything. Can't see anything. Are we gonna get a nasty surprise? there we are fresh ones water corn she's blocked let's go set up the jet up and we're going to drop it down here and hopefully it's just between here and the main we're all set up let's fire up this jet up, head around the back and get this done Place that way, we're walking that way. She would also like this tap fixed, so we're either going to service it or replace it when we're done. Don't want to lose all of those. Get a rubber. Let's give it a quick test. Operational.
Let's put the nozzle down. Let's drop it. We've got to go that way. What have they got there? Why is that even in there? Let's see if that helps. Okay, I'm gonna go grab something to see if I can pull that out. Go. Squash me finger. Best tool for the job. I reckon gully scoots. Let's head back around. So I've just asked if she could flush the toilets a couple of times. We'll see if we can get this out. Oh, missed it. We well, very close. See if we can get it. <laughs> we don't want to lose it down there. Need I need a third hand, correct. Uh, come on. Gotta trust Brad's welding on my reel now. <laughs> He's a. Oh no. No. I can't. Yeah. That might help if you wanna. Thank you.
we need some team effort. <laughs> I, I've only just got it by the tip of it. Yep. And as soon as I take my hand off there, yeah. the weight just wants to... Beautiful. Thank you very much. What the... Do you mind being on YouTube? <laughs> or at least your arm? Your arm's fine. There we go. Nice, nice specimen of a stick there. Okay. Where the hell does that come from? I don't know how that's got down there. Did you tour its flush okay inside? I haven't tried. Oh, would you like to flush them both, please? Okay. Any yep. particular order? No order. Just let me know if they don't flush right. Yeah, yeah well, a stick will block our drain every time. So you can see a square junction just there. You'll see the water come out of it when the tools get flushed. Uh, that's the point up to her house. It's probably no use checking that if it's all working okay. We will flick the camera down and just check that last section to the main. You'll probably see some paper and that get pushed through. That seems like it's working fine. I wonder if that bend is broken at the bottom. Could be. Here comes the next toilet. Yeah, that was a good one. <laughs> Culprit, that stick. Someone had to put that down there somehow. I don't know why someone would do that. But that's what people do in this world, I guess. But all clear, possibly a crack at the bottom of that bend. I'll let infrastructure know they can come and do their inspection. But other than that, we're all done. We'll probably just change this over, I reckon. Tricky one. Why doesn't that one spin? <clears throat> we'll cut it. You sure I know? <laughs> So whenever I have a hose tap or something that won't come off the wall, because you don't want to twist what's in the wall, and that's normally a very long thread, um, and depends what they've sealed it up with, sometimes it's very hard to get undone, you just cut the, that off pretty close to where the thread is, and then you just put your shifter on and un it easily comes undone. Either grinder or saber saw. And by doing that, I can actually see the thread so I know if I'm putting too much pressure, if it's going to spin. But generally, as soon as you cut it, just loosens it. Grinder's a bit better. I just couldn't be bothered running out a lead or changing a blade. The saw was already set up. It happens. I see it a bit. People try and undo something off a wall, snap in the wall. That's why... You should take your time. If it doesn't feel right, stop.
looks level. I just happened to have both in the car. So I thought I'd put a new tap on instead of um, just servicing in the tap. Looks better. Let's go turn this water main back on. Check for leaks. Feels good. A quick nip up. Oh. Grub screw at the back here. We're just going to snap it off by tightening it up. Done. That means that that can't come off now without stripping it. Uh, hose tap all good. Luckily, I had a, a tap and a vacuum breaker in the car. I have to restock and put another one in there now. Beautiful, looks good. Drain's all clear, stake in the pipe. I'm amazed how that got in there. I'd love to know who put that in there. <laughs> but that was the problem. Uh, hose tap replaced, vacuum pull breaker replaced. Couple of jobs all sorted. Um, other than that, shout out to Brad. Thanks again, mate. And righto, we're all done here. See you on the next one.